Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I quickly want to go over the add record function, which just adds a record to one of our Xano database tables. So if I go into my function stack and go to database requests, I can find the add record function here. And I can choose any of my existing tables to make this function uh, apply to. So basically I'm gonna select this product table here. And when it opens up, you can see on this input section, Xano is pulling in all those different fields from my product table. And now I basically just need to map it to some values. Oftentimes this will probably be dynamic coming from inputs or other variables within our function stack. So I'll go ahead and add some inputs right now. I'm just going to do a database link, which just pulls the schema of one of our tables. So I'm going to do that to the product table because this will give me all the inputs I need. And now in my add record here, I can just go ahead and simply map each field uh, to its appropriate input. So name to name, description to description, and user ID to user ID. I can go ahead and save this. And now if I run this, I should have some inputs already put in here uh, before this. So I have AirPods, Bluetooth earbuds as a description, and user ID 1. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see it will add uh, a new record to my database table. Now just a quick note, we don't have to add every single field. We have the option to hide some of these fields, or all of them, uh, from the function if we want to. We can quickly hide everything by clicking this toggle up top and unhide it the same way. And if you are applying a variable uh, to all these fields, you can use this magic wand. I don't have another variable in my function stack right now, so some, nothing's showing up, but that is also an option. Lastly, um, in the output tab, you can still do add-ons on the response or even customize what you're getting back. Um, but that pretty much does it for the add record function. Pretty straightforward, but it is the function that you would use to actually uh, put data into one of your Xano database tables.